Drum roll, please. The sponsor I am now riding for is What is going on, guys? What? I have a cut on my hand. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. You with your man Kai Saunders aka Saundersy and today we have made it back to Australia. I just wrapped up a huge four and a half month trip overseas. We did so much stuff guys. I ended up going to the UK to do a competition there. I went to Woodward for a few weeks and I also went to New York to film a bunch of YouTube and Instagram content which was off tap. Could not be more stoked on how the trip went overall guys. I got all the content I wanted to get but now that we are back in Australia I've been holding off from telling you guys this surprise okay. I was waiting till I was back home and in Australia to give you guys this announcement and now it is time okay. So drum roll please. So the sponsor I am now riding for is Drone Scooters. Some of you may have seen this coming and some of you may not have, but I honestly could not be more stoked on this decision, guys. So now let me give you a little bit of backstory on how this all came about. So when I was in the UK recently, I spent a lot of time with the drone team and the owners of the brand. And over the years of scooter riding, I've definitely got to know some of the people on the team. Like for example, Jake, Dylan, and Ansgar. It's crazy, the Drone Scooters team is absolutely stacked. It's super sick that all the riders on the Drone Scooters team are amazing, genuine people, and they're all talented riders. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history of Drone Scooters. Drone Scooters is actually been around for 11 years and believe it or not they are the first UK homegrown scooter brand. So Drew, one of the owners of Drone, actually worked at Bone Skate Park in Stockport, Manchester. And then Duncan, who was the other owner of Drone, came along and decided to join forces and now they're both working on the brand together. And in the midst of all this, me and Drone have actually both worked out a deal that both parties are very happy on, which is also going to continue to allow me to do what I love, which is providing you guys with the best content I possibly can. Now Drew, one of the owners at Drone, he is a rollerblader and the other owner at Drone, Duncan, he actually rides skateboards and they still ride to this day. So if it isn't already clear enough, I'm just going to clear the air here. Drone is not a corporate brand and it is not run by some random businessman. What it actually is is a well-established scooter brand that is run by people that care about the riders, the community, and the overall growth of scootering. So yeah, I'm honestly super hyped on this decision. I can't wait to see what the future holds because it's going to be absolutely insane. I just can't wait to be working alongside like-minded people that really care about the sport. So Drone actually just dropped a new production run and they got hella products, guys. The cool thing about these new products in this production run is everything has been designed in-house by Drew and Duncan. So with 11 years of product design experience behind them, you already know Drone Drone Scooters is confident that these are some of the best products in the market. And that is actually what I'm going to be unboxing for you guys today. So I'm going to set up this camera in the unboxing spot, grab the package, and then start unboxing for you guys. So I'll see you when we're set up in the unboxing spot. So I've already acquired the trusty scissors. What I'm going to do is just quickly unbox it, take everything out of the box, throw the box away, and then unbox everything one by one, just to show you some close-ups of the products and tell you some specifics about them, because these are all absolutely insane. So without any further ado, let's get unboxing. So now I'm going to open the package. This is a big box. God. First thing I can see in the package, we have a pair of bars right here. I'm just going to get these bad boys out, chuck them to the side. I just want to get everything out of the box and then show you guys one by one afterwards. We have another pair of bars here. These are a different kind. I'm going to chuck those to the side. This is absolutely crazy. We have a third pair of bars. It's got to be like three setups in here. I've got products coming out of my ears. Oh my God. Now let's see what else is in this box. We've got a pair of forks right here. These feel crazy light. I'm just going to chuck those to the side. We've got another pair of forks right here. These are a different kind. And a third pair of forks, guys. This is insane. I have so much products. I think that's all for the forks. Let's see what else is in here. Not only do we have one pair of grips, but we have two. Not only that, we have three. That's not all we got. That's not all we got. We have four pairs of grips, guys. So next in the box, we got a few pieces of grip tape right here. These look like all new designs as well. Show you some close-ups afterwards. There are so many products in here, guys. This is insane. So right here, we got one pair of wheels. I'm gonna chuck those to the side. There's two different kinds in here. We also got this other pair of wheels. This is the second kind that they have included in the package. And we got another pair of wheels right here. And of course, it's, it's just not ending, guys. We've got another pair of wheels right here. That's like four pairs of wheels. I'm stocked. This is insane. Hold on. Hold on. We're not done yet. There's more in the box. So next thing I'm pulling out of the box, we've got a beautiful SES clamp right here. I'm going to chuck this to the side because I know there's more of them in here. And of course, we've got another one. That is the second clamp. And then we have another backup SES clamp right here. A few more things in here, guys. Hold on. So the next thing they've included in the box is also these new headsets. We also have some drone ceramic bearings in here. I honestly think that's so cool that they're making bearings. Oh, almost forgot. We've got a stray pack in there too, so I'm going to chuck those over here. We've got a few bits and bobs too. I've got like a fender here for the deck. Also some deck ends for the decks, which I haven't even pulled out yet. Now the last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and pull the holy grail out of the box. We have the deck right here, guys. This is one thing that I'm super excited to show you some close-ups of, because I've honestly been waiting to get my hands on this deck. Not only do we have one, we have two decks in here, guys. Two decks. You thought we'll stop in there, but we ain't. We ain't. We have three decks in this box. That is absolutely insane. Like I said, I guess correctly, there's probably like three setups in here. We're going to get this box out of the way. Look how big this thing is. So big shouts out to Drone for this package. This is honestly more than I could have ever asked for. I'm blown away and I honestly have scooter parts coming out the ears now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the products individually, tell you a little specifics about them and show you some close-ups. So the first product that I've unboxed and I'm going to be showing you today is the Drone Relic 3T bar. This bar comes in at two different sizes. You have the small and the large size. The small size comes in at 650 millimeters high by 600 millimeters wide. And the large size comes in at 710 millimeters high by 610 millimeters wide. It's also got a cool emblem cut out on the front, which is sick. And the 
color options for this bar is black, translucent black, and silver. These look super sick and I can't wait to try them. If you know me personally, you know Saundesi likes a good tea bar The next product that I've unboxed and I'm going to be showing you is the Drone Helios One Wheel. This wheel offers an innovative hollow spoked core. It comes in at 110 millimeters. The wheel itself actually has an oversized core, meaning the wheel is more rigid. It improves the feel and responsivity while also sheds weight. So this wheel only weighs in at 225 grams, which is insane. This wheel comes in a selection of colors of black, silver, smoked chrome, neochrome, and blue. You have heaps of options. This is such a sick design. I honestly have not seen any other wheels like this. It feels super, super light, and I honestly can't wait to try this wheel out for myself. Since we're on the wheels, guys, I've already unboxed the next wheel, and I'm going to be showing you the Drone Lux 3 wheel. This wheel includes a dual core technology hollow design, which is really sick. This wheel also comes with a larger core of 86 millimeters, which also allows this wheel to be more rigid and light. This wheel also includes ultrasonic bearings for maximum speed. It weighs in at only 225 grams, which is absolutely insane. Now, this wheel also comes in a bunch of colors, including black, silver, smoked chrome, neochrome, and blue, just like the other wheel. Straight out of the box, this wheel feels so light, guys. I can't wait to see how this feels on my scooter. The next product that I'm going to show you guys is the Drone Acolyte Grips. This grip comes in a size of 180 millimeters in length, which definitely gives it a nice long grip feel. The bar ends are actually compatible with steel, aluminium, or titanium bars, which is a really cool feature. It also has a slimline design with horizontal lines to provide you a grippier feel. But straight out of the box, these feel super comfy, and I think I've already fallen in love with them. The next product that I've taken out of the box and I'm going to be showing you is the Drone Contrast 3 Clamp. Now, this SES weighs only 217 grams, which is absolutely crazy. It's been designed a little larger, so it provides a stronger clamping power. The cool thing about this clamp is it's compatible with standard and oversized bars, and it also comes with a shim. The color options for this clamp are black, silver, smoked chrome, neochrome, and red. So you've got a bunch of sick options. I can already tell that this SES is going to hold up really well. And for the grip tapes, you've got a few different designs. I'm going to keep these in the packages, though, so I'm not planning on opening that, but this is the other design, too. These look absolutely crazy, guys. They've killed it on all these products. So the next product I'm going to be showing you is the Drone Synergy 2 headset. This headset comes in a bunch of color options. You've got black, polished silver, neochrome, red, white, pastel pink, and pastel blue. You can already tell just by taking this headset out of the box that it is a really high quality headset. You can already tell that this is going to be an absolutely buttery headset. And the next thing I want to showcase to you guys is the Drone Ultra Ceramic Bearings. So the type of bearings these are are ABEC 9 Ultra Ceramic Bearings. They come in a pack of four or a pack of eight, so you have an option. These bearings actually have high quality built-in steel into them. So when you're riding around, you know they're not going to explode or break. I personally think it's a really slept on thing in scooter. Do you already know we're chucking these beautiful bearings and those beautiful wheels? You're going to be riding on clouds. Now this is an interesting product. Right here we have the Drone Parallax Titanium Bars. The small size comes in at 650 millimeters high by 610 millimeters wide. And the larger size comes in at 710 millimeters high by 630 millimeters wide. These bars are made up out of the strongest grade titanium. The cool thing is an adapter plug is also included with these bars for conversion from HIC to SES compression. It's also got a reinforced thick crossbar for added strength. So you already know these bad boys are going to hold up. I've never tried titanium bars myself. These feel insanely light. So I can't wait to cut them down to size and actually try these out. The next product that I'm going to show you that I'm actually really hyped to try is the Drone Aeon 3 fork. This fork is also made from the highest quality aluminium. So you know it's going to perform well and hold up for a long time. It's compatible with 110 and 120 millimeter wheels. When it comes to the width, it's only compatible with up to 24 mil. This fork comes in a bunch of colors, including black, silver, smoked chrome, neochrome, and red. This fork weighs in at only 199 grams. I don't think I've ever rode a fork that feels this light. So since we're on the forks, I've just pulled out the next fork, and this is the Drone Majesty 4 fork. Now this fork weighs in at 215 grams, which is a little heavier than the other one, but that's because this fork is compatible with every single wheel on the market. This fork fits from 110 to 120 millimeter wheels, and is compatible with wheel widths up to 30 millimeters. The option for colors with this fork, you have black, silver, smoked chrome, neochrome, and red. So you have a lot of different color options to piece with your scooter. It's a little bit of a bigger version, but I'm so surprised that they have managed to get it this light. These products honestly feel crazy in my hands. Now for the final product, the Holy Grail. So right in front of me, we have the Drone Nexus deck. The cool thing about this deck is they offer four different sizes. It comes in a 6x21, a 6x22, a 6x5x22, or a 6x5x23. The deck itself is really, really light, and the size that I'm going to be riding is the 6x5x22. This deck weighs in at only 1.81 kilograms. It also comes with an 84 degree head tube angle. The deck also includes aluminium deck ends and a steel feather light brake. This deck comes in black, silver anodized, smoked chrome, and purple. And the cool thing about this deck that you guys need to know is it is compatible with every single wheel size on the market. Honestly, me as a rider could not be more stoked on these products, guys. Just by the look of these products and how they're designed, you can tell that they've put a lot of effort into making these and that they really have had the riders at mind when making these products. This is absolutely crazy. Definitely go check out all these products for yourself because you'd be silly not to. Again, I could not be more stoked to announce that I'm now riding for drone scooters. I can't wait to see what the future holds and I can't wait to showcase to all of you guys out there how crazy these products are. They've been designed perfectly. They look amazing. So shout out to drone for these products because you have absolutely killed it on these. One of the reasons why I'm so stoked to ride this deck guys is I've never rode anything over a six wide. This deck right here is a 6.5. I can't even wait to see what combos I do on this thing. It's going to be absolutely off top. So now that I've done a little bit of an unboxing, I've taken you through the products one by one, told you some specifics about them, shown you some close-ups just to showcase to all of you guys these new products. So now all there really is to do is set up a new scooter and take it to the skate park.
We just arrived at the skate park, and the skate park we have behind me is Bracken Ridge, guys. This skate park is absolutely insane. It definitely is one of my favorites in Brisbane, but today I have the new scooter. It is built up, ready to go, and it is ready for Saundesi to put his two size eight feet on and take it for a shred to see what this thing is made of. I'm super excited to be testing out this scooter for you guys today. For me, this is something that I've been looking forward to for a long time, guys. This is my first session on a 6.5. So now that the scooter's put together, I just want to show you some close-ups of what this bad boy looks like, because it's insane. There you guys have it. There was a few B-roll shots of the new scooter that I've just set up and I'm about to ride. I'm honestly over the moon on this setup, guys. It looks so clean. The colors are amazing. And already just cruising on it, it feels so beautiful. So you know we're going to get a session for you guys today. I'm planning on filming some GoPro footage. we got the whole skate park to ourselves. So I'm going to waste no time, switch straight up to the GoPro and get some clips for you guys. We are now on the GoPro, guys. I want to get the session started with four tricks on these down rails right here. I'm really keen to test out this scooter and see how it feels to ride. So we're going to get straight into it. We got this really sick obstacle here, but the one thing that sucks about it is there is no landing. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. You just come to a complete stop. So this skate park has this really cool slanted ledge. These are honestly kind of rare to see at skate parks, so we're gonna stack something on this. I'm not even joking when I just say, I just manual to the top. I thought I was gonna eat it on that one, but we got that one done, guys. We also got this really cool precision hubber thing that I honestly never ride, so we gotta hit something on it. I kinda underestimated that obstacle. That is actually really fun. I definitely need to ride that more. That is me for the clips, guys. We just busted out another four on these rails. Super hyped on those. This scooter has exceeded my expectations, guys, but we're going to end the clips there, and I'll see you back on the cam. Just like that, we have now finished up with the GoPro clips. I hope all of you out there enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed going out and filming them for you guys. We have just finished up the session at Brackenridge Skate Park. I'm not even lying when I say this. As soon as I put my two feet on this thing, it felt like I was riding on clouds, guys. All the parts honestly check all the boxes for me. And to be completely honest, that is hard to do because Saundesi is a very picky rider. We're going to end the video here because I set out today to do one thing, and I did exactly that. So with all that being said, I'm going to wrap up the session here, guys. Keep it short and sweet, and I'll see you guys once we're back at the crib. We are now back at the house and we have wrapped up an amazing day at the skate park testing out the new scooter guys. Like I was explaining a little bit in the video after I rode the scooter for my first time, I honestly have nothing to complain about. Every single part on that scooter feels absolutely beautiful to ride. All these parts that I'm riding, it honestly feels so natural. So I'm not capping when I say this, I've taken the scooter out for one ride and already it is my favorite scooter I've ever owned. So that right there speaks volume and that should show you guys out there how good these parts really are. But what I really want to talk to you a little bit about is the deck guys. Those dropouts feel beautiful. The 84 degree head tube angle is super nice guys. I think that is definitely my preferred head tube angle. The foot space also feels amazing. I for one love riding a deck that feels like it is longer because of the foot space guys. That just provides a whole different feel for the scooter and honestly looks so nice when you're riding it because you can spread your feet out a little more. The deck's really strong while also being super light and I think that's something that's really hard to master. But they have hit the nail right on the head with this deck. They have absolutely killed it. Anyway with all that being said I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Big shouts out to Drone again for this package. I can't wait for the future but with all that being said I'm probably going to end off the video here so make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new. Turn post notifications button on to get notified whenever I come out with a new video and of course guys take it easy and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.